Welcome back to The Comedian's Comedian. And up next, the star of Have I Got News For You, who's been responsible for more great lines than Angus Deaton's dealer. Two pints of dental floss, please. <laughs> That's 138. I do. Did you change? I do. Look at that. He's given me a £20 note and I've given him change of a fiver. And they say dolphins are intelligent. Comedians would look up to Paul principally for his uh, ability to improvise. A Weight Watchers party. No luck then. <laughs> Watching Paul Merton is panellist supreme because he reacts all the time. I mean, this is a compliment. He's brought being a panellist to an art form. And she ended up calling a fellow feminist um, a woman who had bird's nest hair, three <laughs> fat inches of cleavage, and wore fuck me shoes. Why would oh. shoes want to be fucked anyway? <laughs> he just enjoys going on wonderful flights of imagination. And I think that's probably why comedians would vote for him in this, because he does something to which they would aspire. Can you get fuck me socks? <laughs> Christmas and go, fuck me, son. As a comedian, you can often kind of predict where a gag's going a bit before an audience because you're used to it and that's what you do, but you're not really with Paul. You know, suddenly it's out of nowhere. There's a sort of tangential quality that he's able to call upon. There was one moment in the last show I hosted where uh, he started a joke that I picked up on and ran to the end with. Whose brainchild was this pigeon attack? Is it Bernard Matthews? It actually was it, was, it was the head of the Air Ministry pigeon section. Oh my God. <laughs> is it a pigeon? Is it a pigeon that's head of the pigeon section? All the pigeons. Does <laughs> so he understand, speaks the same language? <laughs> the pigeon with one eye. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he wishes he was still out there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I kind of went, ah, oh, I just riffed with Paul Martin. Uh, and it was a really internal moment of going, yay. He threw it up, I went bang. Uh, and uh, the sense of his personal victory there was huge. 